the exciting field of viruses and viral diseases. This is always evolving. Uh, what we are presenting at ECMED are areas in the field of HIV, um, hepatitis B, there will be a keynote symposium on this. We're also discussing all of the other viruses that cause chronic hepatitis, everything from A through to E. Uh, human papillomavirus is very topical at the moment, particularly around diagnostics, and there is a symposium on this. The, there's been a lot of interest in dengue, which now has global impact, so there's a, a standalone session on um, dengue. In addition, some of the other viral hemorrha hemorrhagic fevers are being highlighted, particularly Ebola and Lassa. Uh, again, a huge amount of interest in this. Uh, we see uh, these viral hemorrhagic fevers uh, continuing to be an issue uh, globally, and with that, with that, we felt it was important that uh, we highlight it in a symposium. Respiratory viruses are always very topical. Uh, we're looking at uh, two major areas in this, the epidemiological and clinical area, but also diagnostic, uh, diagnostics around this. Antiviral agents uh, continue to evolve and with that we have produced a symposium that will highlight new antiviral agents and where they fit, particularly in uh, dealing with respiratory um, illnesses. It's essential that we uh, address the issues that are pertinent to minorities and um, gender-related issues. Uh, for the latter, HPV is particularly important. It's an infection that causes cancer but is also preventable. So we need to do our best to highlight um, the importance of vaccinations uh, for HPV, but also how we can better diagnose it uh, and prevent it that way. Uh, it's particularly pertinent to women, but also uh, for men who uh, develop head and neck cancers. So we felt it was very important to highlight HPV and what it, what it does. Uh, from a minority point of view, uh, we, of course, in the field of virology, uh, highlight uh, HIV infection, which does tend to um, affect um, men more than women, but also uh, for people from countries of high prevalence tend to be uh, under-resourced countries. So it's always important to uh, highlight the importance of that, the access to medications when it comes to um, HIV and indeed other uh, viral uh, infections such as hepatitis. The trends for the futures and methodologies are around rapid diagnostics. Uh, but also ongoing development of effective antiviral agents. Um, the latter is really important because of the areas, uh, the, the, air, the um, topic of resistance in antivirals. It's very important that we keep ahead of the curve, um, highlight research in the areas of development of new antiviral agents to treat what are very common diseases worldwide, particularly with respiratory viruses but also again with HIV and particularly uh, chronic hepatitis B where there is needs to be um, a cure developed for that particular infection. Mm -hmm.